Hi, I'm Bartłomiej Binkowski, cardiologist at Ministry of Interior Hospital in Łódź, Poland. Atrial fibrillation and other left atrial ablations cover nearly 70% of all procedures performed in our lab. Single transeptal puncture with steerable sheath is our standard approach for all left-sided ablations. The steerable sheath is a game-changer, offering unparalleled stability and maneuverability of the catheters. Agilis is approved for transeptal puncture with dedicated BRK needle. Now I will guide you step by step through the transeptal puncture carried out directly with the steerable sheath. Prepare the sheath, bend it a little bit, and introduce the dilator, aligning the curve of the dilator with the curve of the sheath. Puncture femoral vein as usual and introduce the long wire into the SVC. Then introduce the sheath over the wire. Prepare the needle. I used to bend it a little bit, 10 to 12 centimeters from the tip. Remove the wire. And flash the dilator. Now introduce the needle. Let it rotate freely. Remove the stylet. and align the tip of the needle with the tip of the dilator using, for example, some ruler or, not, or other marker. And flash the needle. Exchange the syringe for the contrast, then slide down the assembly into the fossa ovalis. I do it in LAO, adjust position in area and puncture the septum. Aspirate. Confirm the position of the needle by injecting contrast in two projections. Advance the assembly, disconnect the sheet from the dilator and slide it over the dilator into the left atrium. I did not exchange the needle with the safety wire on purpose. Crossing the septum with Agilis requires more support and I slide the sheath over the needle and the dilator. If you feel uncomfortable, use 0.014 coronary wire and introduce it through the lumen of the transcendental needle into the pulmonary vein. Confirm the position of the needle with the contrast injection, then advance the assembly over the needle and introduce extra support coronary wire into the left superior pulmonary vein then advance the assembly more and introduce the sheath into the left atrium. I hope you've enjoyed the video and introduced the technique to your daily practice. Thank you for watching.